Hello there, it is I, Jay, and I'm going to show you guys today how to wash out the gunk in your Rainbow High doll's hair. This is Karma Nichols. Um, she has straight hair compared to the other Rainbow High dolls that have curly hair. But just like those ones, she has a lot of gel in the front of her hair to keep it presentable for the box. With her hair being this crunchy, it is making the roots stand up a little bit and I would like her hair to lay flatter against her head. So we are going to need to do a boil wash as well. So let's jump into the materials needed. You are going to need a rat tooth comb. This next tool is a dog brush. Um, it is optional. Of course, we're using a clean dog brush and this is good to get out any knots or tangles if it is in the hair. You can also use doll brushes. They're not gonna be as good as a rat tooth comb, but if they're all you have, they're good. Next, you're going to need the mug that you're gonna put the hot water in when we get to that step later. Next, you're going to wanna to use any kind of conditioner that you would use on any synthetic doll hair. I use Suave just because it's cheap and I could get a big bottle and use it on lots of dolls instead of just paying for an expensive brand. You're also going to need shampoo. I use Herbal Essence, um, just for the smell really, because it smells like roses. Next, this is what I use for the boiling water. I use a clothing steamer because it boils the water in the little kettle thingy. And I don't have to be in the kitchen with the microwave. I could just be in my bathroom and plug it in. And as I'm washing the doll, the water could be boiling aside me. And then I could just place it in the cup. Of course, you can use your microwave to boil water. It's just up to you preference-wise. So that's all we need. Let's get started. Welcome to my bathroom, y'all. So the first step in the bathroom is we're going to remove all of Karma's accessories and clothing. Um, you can also remove her hands if you don't want to lose them down the drain by any chance. Um, I left on her white rainbow shirt so she's not flashing the audience. So step one, you're going to want to plug up your sink. For step two, we're going to fill up our sink with water. Um, use warm to hot water and let it fill. So now that the sink is full of warm to hot water, we could dunk our doll's head in and let the gel break up in the warm water. Once a doll's head is submerged in the water, I like to use my hands to kind of massage out the gel itself and then I let it soak for a little bit. Once you feel like the doll's gel is completely out of the hair, you can set her aside and start to drain your sink out. Now with your rat tube comb, you can comb away from the part on both sides. Don't comb through it, just away. Once you've combed through your doll's hair, it should start looking a little better than it was when it had all the gel in it. You're going to now want to use your shampoo and shampoo the hair until all that gel is completely out of the hair. Once you've lathered the shampoo through the doll's hair, it is time to rinse it out. Make sure you use warm to hot water. If you use too hot of water, it's just going to burn your hand. Now that the doll is completely clean, we are going to move on to conditioning. So I use a good amount of conditioner on the Rainbow High doll hair. 
Um, it is thick nylon, so the more the merrier. Just make sure you get it all out of the hair. So now it's time to comb through the doll's hair. So grab your rat tube comb and just start combing it into the placement you would like it to be. This is also the very satisfying part, so I insert some close-up clips of me just like combing her hair, and ugh, I love it. So I let the conditioner stay in her hair for around five minutes, and now it's time to rinse it out in the same warm to hot water. Now that the conditioner is all out of her hair, you can see how shiny it's looking, but now we got to move on to the boil wash. Because Karma has straight hair, I'm just going to do the top of her head and then comb it through the rest of it. So I gather all the hair in the back and I begin to dunk only the head in the water. So if you are worried about the eyelashes or the eyes being dunked in boiling water, um, you don't really have to be. They're in the head and they're not going to rust like an American Girl doll. So after that, just comb through the hair. And what the boil wash did, it made the hair a lot smoother and a lot easier to brush. So now that I like how her hair is sitting, I'm going to take the rest of the water and pour it over her hair over the sink. Sit her at the sink and I just pour the water over her head. Try not to get your hands wet because they're just going to be burnt. After you do that, you just need to comb through the hair one last time. And voila, now we just gotta let her dry. So I place her in a towel and I kind of burrito her in and then I just let her sit for a few hours. I'm going to let her hair dry and I'll come back in the morning with the results. The next day. And here she is after 24 hours of drying. The back is a little kinked because of the towel, but all you need to do is just comb through that. I am very pleased with how her hair turned out. It is very soft and silky, and it's just ready now to be played with and styled. So let me know in the comments below if you like this tutorial and would like to see any more hair styling tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really enjoyed it, please give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell just so you're notified, and I'll be posting more content coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye!